summer is that time for sides like potato salad if you're going to a picnic, a barbecue, or you're just hanging out and enjoying the weather. Unless that weather's like 100 degrees outside like it is right now. But you know what? You can enjoy this inside. And we're going to kick this up a little bit with a couple different ingredients to sort of a basic potato salad recipe. The first thing I want to do is get everything cut that needs to be cut for this. And we're going to start with two stalks of celery. First thing I want to do is just split these down the middle. And then we're just going to slice these up so they're thin, not super thick. Just like that. Next up, some green onions, but we're only gonna use this white end of it right here. So we're just gonna take the greens off. Those will be saved and used for something else. We're also gonna take off the hairy end here and we're gonna thinly slice these. That's what I'm looking for. Next up, a red bell pepper. I'm gonna take the end off first. If we're lucky, we can pull that center core out pretty complete. I'm gonna break this down into some pieces here. And we're gonna break these down into some thinner pieces and give these sort of a large dice. All right, that's looking good. Let's move on to our next ingredient. Got six hard boiled eggs here and we're just gonna break these down, chop them into smaller pieces, maybe quarters or eighths. So if we take one egg, go the long way, then go across, go across, then go the long way again, long way again. That's about the size I like, but in all honesty, once everything gets mixed up, that's gonna break apart too. All right, these are looking good. They're gonna go in a bowl in the refrigerator with our other chopped ingredients that we've done so far. And we're gonna move on to a couple ingredients that we actually need to cook. So I've got three pounds of red potatoes here, and I need to break these down into pieces that are roughly the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna leave the skin on because that's how I like my potato salad with red potatoes with that nice rustic sort of feel. So first I just wanna kinda of break it in half here, break it in half again. And this is one of the larger ones. You can see we got some kinda of bad areas there. We'll just cut off, we won't use that. And I like it about half this size for potato salad. So I'm just gonna cut it there because once we boil these up and they're gonna soften a little bit, pieces will break off once you mix it up and I love that in potato salad. And if any pieces seem too big, just break those down a little bit more. This one's a little too big, I think. So just about that size. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the rest of these potatoes, get them in some boiling water, boil them up, and then they're gonna cool down completely. We're not gonna work with them when they're even lightly warm. They need to be chilled down completely. All right, here are our potatoes, fresh out of the boiling water. I drained them off. And let me show you the tenderness that I like here. You can see how that slides in there and I could break that apart easily, but it's not mush. That's what I want in the potato. So really you just need to cook it to the tenderness you like. This is how I like it. So now I'm gonna let this come down to room temperature. It's probably gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna put a lid on this bowl and it's gonna go in the refrigerator for probably two hours to really chill down. I want this really chilled. I want all our ingredients really chilled when we build this summer potato salad. And while this is starting to cool, we have something else we need to cook. An ear of corn. We're gonna go out to the grill really quick, grill this up, and then this is also gonna chill down because once it's nice and cool, we're gonna shave those grilled corn kernels off and it's gonna go in the salad. It's gonna be terrific. All right, our potatoes and our corn are almost chilled down and we need to get started on the dressing. And we're starting with two cups of mayonnaise. 
To this, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of white vinegar, about two tablespoons of a brown mustard, one teaspoon of a coarsely ground black pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of tahine. Tahine is a really good Mexican seasoning, just fantastic on so many things. And we're gonna mix this all together here. Let's get a little taste, see if we need to adjust. That is just right. All right, let's get our fire roasted corn out here so we can get those kernels off of the cob. All right, here is our ear of fire roasted corn. It's nice and cold now. Let's go ahead and shave these kernels off. I have it a little tray here, makes it a little neater. And I just wanna break these up from those strips that they come off in. Everybody's separated here. All right, let's get our potatoes out here and start building this summer potato salad. All right, here are our three pounds of red potatoes that have been chilled down. First thing I'm gonna add is that mixture of our red bell pepper, our celery, and our green onion whites that we sliced. Next up, our corn, our hard boiled eggs, and now for our dressing. I'm gonna start with about half to three quarters of it because I don't like my potato salad to be really soupy. You can put as much as you want on it, but I like to start with less. I can always add more. Give everybody a mix here. This is smelling great and looking great. I actually think that might be the perfect amount of dressing for me. I save the rest of that and put it on salad or some other stuff. All right, let's go ahead and plate some of this up. Get some in our serving dish here. Get a pinch of paprika on the top here. I'm actually using a smoked paprika. I think it adds a nice little zing and some dried dill. You could also add some scallions, maybe some of those sliced up green scallion pieces that we didn't use, but I like dill on this. And there we go, our summer potato salad. All the ingredients I love in this with a few extra little additions, and this is gonna be fantastic, so let's dive in. All right, let's get in here. See if we can get a little bit of everything. Cheers. That is freaking amazing. Oh man, this is good. One of the things that works really well here for me is not having those potatoes mushy. Now. If you like them more cooked, go ahead and do that. But I like just that softness where, see, they're still holding together, but they are incredibly tender. As I said earlier, this is that quintessential summer side dish for picnics, for barbecues, or just when you're sitting around and you want something that's a snack, but almost a meal, this is the ticket.